Hey guys, we are in New York City and I just stole this guy, Pearson Knight, right off the runway. He is an extraordinary hairstylist and you've seen his work in countless editorials on loads of celebrities, but he's best known for what he does on the runway. So I asked him to make my hair look absolutely amazing and he's gonna show us an amazing look that goes from catwalk to after party. Yesterday we worked on Tibby with an amazing team. I wanna recreate amazing. basically what hit the runway. This is gonna be like yesterday's ponytail. She put it in earlier today and it's kind of a little wrecked, but it's not homeless wrecked. It's still polished and editorial and nice. And it's a very fine line between looking overdone right. and totally undone. The main thing is I'm gonna use her natural part. I'm not gonna fight the hair. And also she has a little bit of wave and her hair is very healthy so it's kind of a little slippery so I'm going to use some volumizing tonic and some hairspray. Hair will mimic the energy you put into it so I want it to be rough and crazy. So spraying the hair right at the root and you know prepping the hair is such an important thing. Product use is major. Um, if you don't prep the hair correctly you know you don't have the foundation and a little bit through the ends. It does feel a little sticky. <laughs> well we need that for texture that will be giving you a little bit of volume, a little bit of texture, and kind of push it back really nice. So blow drying at the root first, just to get the, the root dry and um, high heat or medium heat. You don't have to get too crazy. And I'm also using a Mason Pearson to get some of the root lifted and just pre-dry it, grabbing pieces, not, not overdone. So now we're just going to use a little dry spray kind of get it through the interior, give a little texture so it's not too slippery. Kind of go through the interior, not on the exterior. We don't like want a bunch of uh, hairspray on the exterior. Okay. Just kind of getting in that texture in the middle. Loosely with my hands, I'm going to bring it back. Into, oh, that feels really good. You can grab, you know, fine tooth, uh, comb and pull some pieces out or, you know, get a toothbrush and come through and slick some pieces down or however it's, it, you know, crazy you want it to be. But I just want to put the ponytail at the nape really loose. Now, if you tilt the head back, I'm not going to this time, but when you tilt the head back a little bit, you will avoid getting that sag in the back of your ponytail. A lot of people, oh. you know, they, they do their beautiful ponytail right. and then they have a little bit of bulk that kind of sags. So Every if you tilt time. your head back for a lot of looks, you'll you will remain tight. And then we're gonna go through the ponytail and just wrap it up a little more. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the hair and wrap it right around it to hide the fasten. And that takes it kind of a little more chic ponytail. I'll grab a little hairpin and I'm gonna go underneath and in like that. This is the runway 2012 fall winter from Tibby. So now we can easily work this into a chignon house. So I'm going to take out the fasten. Okay. We don't need that um, hiding the fastener. So I'm going to leave the texture in the front um, exactly how it's played. But I'm just basically going to back comb it a little bit. Once again, grabbing hair pins that are light brown, or if they do make blonde ones and just spin it. So yeah. I use four hairpins, and if you can see, I'm gonna leave wow. some of this out. Yeah. And it's a really pretty chignon. So now I'm gonna take out those four pins and kind of restart. You know, you can, you can do a few different looks. Once your foundations are in and you're right. set, it's really, really easy. So I'm just gonna kind of do a little bit of a, a sleeker one, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab an extra hair tie. Okay. Just to, so that you can control the ends. I'm actually gonna get in there with the comb again. Okay. And back comb the middle between the hair fasteners, oh. um, elastics. And now I'm gonna feed that straight through. And wind you up. Grabbing hairpins with my Four arms. So I brought the tail through the actual bulk that we, we uh, back combed and I just kind of rolled it up so it's a different chignon. It's a little messy still but it has a wow. different texture and a totally different feel. It's rolled up and right. in which is nice, you know, it's a little more Beautiful. polished but I mm -hmm. still wanted the pieces coming out. Pearson, this is gorgeous. I can't believe we got three amazing runway ready looks out of one perfect base. 
Thank you so much. It Thank great. you. I love the titty look. I love the back little chignon and then the weird flip thing. It's amazing. I'm obsessed. Thank you so much for teaching us. And don't forget to subscribe so you'll see much more coming from Fashion Week. See you next time. Smooches.